<laughs> I'm going to start with football decisions, and, and this is kind of aimed at our beloved owner. Football decisions <laughs> should be made by the football people. I get it. You paid a lot of money. I get it. You should have a say, but your say shouldn't come at the decision of the business. Would you do that in your other business? Would you let somebody from outside the realm of the petroleum business tell you how to run the petroleum part of your franchise, your empire? I don't think you would. I don't think you'd let an interior designer tell you how to run your petroleum business. So as a business guy, don't tell the football people how to make football decisions. You hired them, let them do your job. If you don't like the job they did after three years, you clean house. Wins matter, but it's troubling that the Cavs did not put away the Pacers in any of those four games when they had them down double figures in three of them late in the game. They, they let them back in that. Again, I, that's just a troubling trend because I, I know you can do it against the Pacers. I know you can do it probably in the next round. As you get into the Wizards, the Raptors, those type of teams, if you let them come back, there's guards on both of those teams that, that may bite you in the behind. So that's something the Cavs really have to be concerned about. And then more like it. Over the weekend, uh, you saw exactly what you thought you had with the Indians. Offense that was hitting the ball out of the park and starting pitching that was really good. And when you get those two things, baseball team's awfully hard to beat no matter where they're playing or when they're playing.